Genesis chapter 24, verses 28 through 41, part 3. The girl related to her mother's household what had happened. Now Rebekah had a brother whose name was Laban, and Laban ran out to the man at the well. For when he saw the earring on, or nose ring and the bracelets on his sister's arm, and when he heard Rebekah, his sister, saying, The man said this to me, he went to the man, found him standing by the camels at the well. He cried, Come in, and bless the blessed of the Lord. Why do you stand outside? For I have made the house ready, and prepared the place for the camels. So the man came to the house, and Laban upgirded the, his camels, and gave straw and for, and for the camels, and water to bathe his feet and the feet of the men who was with him. A meal, a meal was set before him, and he said, I will not eat until I have told of my errand. And Laban said, Speak on. And he said, I am Abraham's servant. The Lord has blessed my master mightily, and became great, has given him flocks, herds, and silver and gold, men servants and maid servants, camels and asses. And Sarah my master's wife bore a son to my master when she was old, and to him he, he has given all that he has. And my master made me swear, saying, You must not take a wife for my son, for the daughter of the Canaanites, whose land I dwell. But you shall go to my father's house, and to my family, and take a wife for, for my son. And I said to my master, but suppose the woman would not follow me. And he said to me, The Lord in whose presence I walk habitually will send his angel with you and, and prosper your way. And he would take a wife for my son, from the kindred, from the house. And then you shall be clear of my house when you come with my kindred. And if they do not give her to you, you shall be free, innocent of the old. So, I just want to say that God is awesome. There's no one like God. And um, just cling on Him. Trust in God and Him alone. And keep looking up, keep trusting God, and keep praying for our country. Have a blessed day.